Hey guys, it's me Miss Reaper and I've been playing Dreamlight Valley since day one of its release. Okay, and these are the outfits that I created within the space of its release in September of 2022 till the end of 2022. And let's just say there's a lot of um, outfits that I created. So let's start. So first off I have the Dreamlight Valley jersey which I got for creating my avatar within the avatar tool that you can have in Steam. I quite like this. I don't wear it often though. I have other outfits. Now I made this when they brought out the villain look and it was my Halloween look. So for this I got Ursula to level 10 in friendship in order to get her dress and then I've got the raven wings and the horns which came from that um, star path that happened in I think it was October. <laughs> then I have my nightmare before Christmas top which is basically like basically an oogie boogie in the moon sort of idea that I had and I'm also in my villain room when I took this. Jack skeleton. Um, I didn't have any other sort of like skeleton-esque motifs except for the chest piece. This is still a work in progress. I do hope that they bring in other skeleton area like bits. Um, to the motifs at a s later date maybe. <laughs> I made this in the creators tool and it is a Briar Rose uh, cosplay from the original Sleeping Beauty movie. I s yeah I'm wearing Maleficent's horns. I was kind of addicted to those horns okay. And then I have the Princess Aurora in pink. I do think that maybe my triangles could have been a bit more um, bigger, perhaps. And I can just see my wolf just like, I'm gonna rub myself up against your leg because that is what doggos do. So this is the Moana level well friendship level 10 dress before they changed it I don't know why they changed it but I want the original back okay I want it back and this is what it changed into okay I want the original back please I created this dress and when I posted this into the official discord Somebody said that the way that the mirror looked in the background made it look like I had a pair of wings and I am all for it. So this was basically inspired by the original uh, Disney's Snow White. Could have done with the puffy arms though. <laughs> One of my favourite childhood games that I played on PlayStation 2. Um, Lara Croft from the Tomb Raider series. Hair and everything. I created this in the creators tool. You can kind of tell the shoulders aren't great. Um, it took a lot of um, bits okay, to get the apron. And I, I'm in love. I didn't make this. This was the first item I bought in Scrooge's shop and I was waiting for the hair to drop before I took this screenshot. But this is from the live action Beauty and the Beast with Emma Watson. This 
this room no longer looks like this. Um, but this is Princess Anna from Disney's Frozen. Um, cosplay idea. The dress came from Anna when I got her to level 10. And the hair came from Scrooge's shop. It took ages for this hairstyle to also drop. Um, Queen Anna. Um, the extra little snowflakes was me editing the image um, to make it a little bit more wintry as if like I was casting snow you know I went all out with this cosplay okay and um, this hairstyle came from Scrooge's shop and it's a tangled hairstyle but I think it more fits Elsa when she you know lets it go and the dress comes from Elsa being level 10 in friendship. This I made with the ideas of Slytherin and the Malfoys. Um, I was a big Draco girl um, back in the day. So you know the blonde hair um, and then the green with the spiders, well not spiders, the snakes. <laughs> I'm thinking Chamber of Secrets there with spiders. <laughs> and then I did this as well. Um, I think the top could have been a little bit lighter um, to really bring out the snake. But I didn't do my hair in blonde. Um, didn't really feel like it. Besides, it wasn't a Slytherin inspired. So there's that. This. I got the idea to do like a Violet Parr um, cosplay considering like she's one of the women in the family and I didn't really find it you know in my best interest to do like a uh, Elastigirl um, but yeah I think this this worked then I started thinking about my daughter and the fact that she is into Scooby-Doo it's a shame that this, like, I don't have a jumper that doesn't have something to do with um, Disney on it to really bring out this cosplay. But this is Velma from the Scooby-Doo series. Then I did a Fred sort of idea. My partner does not like the idea that I made Fred into, like, a woman. But I am a woman, okay? And it just works. Then I made a Daphne. Um, I tried to put like a belt sort of thing around it, but I couldn't get the middle part to work. So this is what I got. Also, the hairstyle just works. I think having like the purple headband really brings out the rest of this. And then we have Shaggy. Um, yeah. That's all from Scrooge's shop, by the way. I'm not even going to try and pronounce this. But I basically just got a white dress with nothing else on it. And the hat, which I got from Scrooge's shop. And I got this idea basically because my partner is a big fan of Resident Evil and I think it works then I decided to do Woody all of this has come from Scrooge's shop okay everything including the top underneath then I have Buzz Lightyear which I believe the jacket and the bottoms came from Scrooge's, I think. It was either that or a star pass. And then the top underneath it, um, Scrooge, shoes, Scrooge. Just a whole Scrooge look. Then Donald Duck. Um, the hat is from Scrooge's. I believe I got the top 
from Donald Duck, getting him leveled up. The skirt and the shoes come from Scrooge as well. Now this, I designed this dress knowing that Stitch was coming to the game at some point and the shoes came from Scrooge's. It took me so long to actually like get the positionings right for these leaves but I did it <laughs> okay and then I made a nani I mean I can't have a lilo without a nani and I can't have a nani without a lilo they sort of like pair each other um, and then I realized as well that nani wears shorts but I didn't have any jeaned shorts so I'm I made her just wear jeans and then my wolf is also just in the background okay this we got into December which meant Christmas cheer and all the rest now I made a Mrs. Santa um, dress in a bunch of different colors but this was the first one I did and it's red then I've got a green and then I have a blue and I quite like how these looked so yeah and then I have the Disney Dreamlight festive dress which I got from the holiday um, star pass that happened in December let's just say I ran around Dreamlight Valley all December wearing this it did not matter as soon as I got it that was it and I I love this and everything else in the background is from the star path too and then here I have the Minnie Mouse dress which I got from getting Minnie Mouse to level 10 and then waiting like an update or two for the dress to be available because they didn't have a quest for when Minnie became level 10 but I love this dress it is cute it is adorable Esmeralda from the Hunchback of Notre Dame I made this basically because I play Disney Magic Kingdoms on my mobile and at the time Hunchback of Notre Dame was the upcoming event so I decided to make this and run around my valley dressed as Esmeralda she I, I love Esmeralda um, she is just a whole personality on her own you know she knows how to hold her own for one um, is that it? yeah I think that's it that was all of my outfits for 2022 in Disney Dreamlight Valley so guys um, if you like this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe um, stay safe beat the forgetting <laughs> and peace out bye